Good evening. An armed robber has struck on the West Shore. Now RCMP and Saanich police are trying to find out whether that crime is linked to a series of similar robberies in the capital region. As Czech news reporter Lee Chekstad shows us, this latest case is causing fear to ripple through the area. At first glance, nothing looks out of place at the West Shore Money Mart. When you get a little closer, you see the residue from fingerprinting and a police car not too far away. Both clues that a robbery took place the day before. I heard it was like by gunpoint, so I was really scared. Kayla Wilson works just two doors down. She admits it's frightening having that happen. I know I, when I came into work this morning, um, another person was working by themselves and she like had the door locked still until I got there because she didn't want to be alone. Especially with a suspect still at large. We canvassed uh, a number of businesses in the area uh, for their video and, and potential witnesses. RCMP say when the suspect left the Money Mart, he fled eastbound, went around the corner and ended up in this traffic. Police brought in a search dog to find out where he went next. But the suspect had fled on foot and the dog lost the scent of him here in the Home Depot parking lot. An apparent dead end until you consider the description of the suspect. Male, larger than six feet tall, heavy set and 200 to 220 pounds. Saanich Police Department has expressed uh, an interest in, in this subject as well uh, and whether or not that person is actually linked to some incidents of a similar nature in their jurisdiction, we haven't had an opportunity to confirm that right now. Victoria Police released new video Saturday in hopes of catching this man, who they say is responsible for six armed robberies in the past month. They're working all the cases along with Saanich. According to one of the victims, this man is experienced. He clearly has done this before. He knew what he was doing. He kept his head turned, so all I could see was the back of his hoodie. Surveillance video inside the West Shore Money Mart is expected to shed more light on whether the armed robber is now hitting a new area. But until the suspect here and this man are caught, nearby businesses and workers are bound to have frayed nerves. They're all pretty locally owned and they're all really nice people that own them. So starting Monday morning, police will work to make people feel safer and figure out if the two suspects are actually the same man.